All right. Hey, nerds. So as you can see, here we are. It's now 2.6. It's out. It's available. And in case you haven't already known, well, we're going to be going over the characters and their new weapons. So we'll take a look. We'll see what's in there and we'll see what happens. Okay. Before I begin, as always, check out the description, not only for Discord and Twitter, but also for our Glean contest, which will be lasting this week. So anyways, let's take a look at the weapons, shall we? So before we begin too much with this, let's just, uh, I need to actually get to the weapon refinery, and we need to take a look, of course, at Tiki. So a lot of you are excited for Breath of Fog, and well, Breath of Fog seems to be, of all things, according to this, it seems to be a Falchion-like effect with the additional, of course, range uh, calculation when it comes to damage based on defense or res, no matter lower, etc, etc. So essentially, Tiki is going to become a dragon that can kill other dragons while also restoring HP. But that's not the only thing we have going. So let's let's take a look at the refinement. I have not actually seen this yet, but I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. All right, so Breath of Fog, when you're giving <laughs> giving her the refinement, does not seem to change uh, too much when it comes to just the base effects, but it does gain the ability that if a unit is within two spaces of a sword or dragon ally, grants the, uh, the additional effect of attack and defense plus five during combat. That's pretty outrageous, actually. That's a pretty powerful buff, especially if you're using Tiki and a dragon emblem at all. But hey, there's a lot of sword units out there, so I really don't see any big deal with that. That's no big problem. Honestly, that's actually a fairly decent buff. Unfortunately, I do not have Divine Dew to really try with that. The only problem, of course, is is this going to be better than Lightning Breath at certain situations? You might need to instead consider maybe giving Tiki something like, I don't know, Distant Counter if you're going to run Breath of Fog or stick with Lightning Breath. It's really hard to say. Now, next up, we're going to take a look at uh, our good friend, Merrick. Uh, well, you can upgrade him to Dark Excalibur or you could take on the new effect of Excalibur, which, by the way, now that he actually has it, uh, the new additional effect when you just refine it normally just gives him a uh, special trigger cooldown, which is kind of cool. But if the unit is within two spaces of a magic or staff ally, it also grants attack and speed plus five during combat? Hmm. I I'm starting to see a little bit of a trend here. I'm wondering if this is going to be something that's just going to be happening a lot of. But all in all, you can upgrade Excalibur with other things and, you know, it retains a lot of its special trigger fun stuff, so... Honestly, these seem to be really nice, but I don't think that's going to save Merrick from too much. It, it definitely will help him out in some regards, though. All right, so let's move on to Lind, who everyone loves and enjoys, I'm sure, who has not been around for a little while. And, well, let's see. Hmm. At the start of turn... Wait, what? That... I can't remember for the life of me what what uh, what uh Aura used to give. Let's see here. If he initiates, restores... 5 HP to adjacent allies. Okay, so I can safely say when you give her aura, the increase here is uh, at the start of turn, grants plus 6 attack to adjacent magic and staff units. Okay, cool. That That is a little, uh, <laughs> I mean, huh, I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, but hey. And then, of course, we also have the if unit is within two spaces of magic and staff ally grants plus attack and speed 5. Okay, sure. So, essentially, the same sort of thing that Merrick has, but she also has the additional effect of getting rid of her buffing, or at least her HP regen, and giving additional attack to adjacent magic and staff allies. I mean, I can see that as being really useful, especially in um, certain Blade Tome builds, of course. But... None of these are... none of these are too crazy. Although I do really enjoy Tiki's ability. Um, Breath of Fog is going to be a fascinating look as to what this is going to do to the uh, meta when it comes down to it. The additional effect of giving her attack and defense plus 5 during combat is definitely going to be helpful in the long run. But I'm not really sure about Merrick or uh, Lin's ability because those are, those are going to be a little odd. Definitely going to be a very interesting mixture of ma mages now, actually. Definitely going to be something to look into, but uh, what do you guys think? All in all, seems like a pretty decent weapon refine, especially Breath of Fog, but uh, I'm glad that Lin and Merrick at least got something else. 
but it really depends on what you want to use when it comes down to these units. And of course, you can do all sorts of fun stuff now. Or you can upgrade it to Dark Aura. It's really hard to say. Because, you know, <laughs> this one, of course, is more built for mages. This one is definitely more built for melee. Things like that. So, it's really a debate on what you're going to do here. And that, and that, that kind of falls under the same thing for Merrick as well. Because uh, you could get additional damage when special triggers, or you could have uh, the accelerate special cooldown trigger, and of course the uh, two st <laughs> the two spaces, uh, you know, staff buff, magic buff, whatever you want to call it, which is, huh. All in all, very interesting refines. I'm not really sure where else to place it. Feel free to tell me in the comments below, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, well. Man, lots of excitement to be coming. We'll see all the stats soon, guys.